Hey, Bonnie. What's up? Hi, Hi James. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. Great. Yeah. I'm good. You look fantastic. You know, I think this quarantine is is uh, adjusting with you. <laughs> I've actually been pretty healthy out here, you know? Well, good to hear. Good to hear. I'll, listen, I'm talking to you from Toronto. Uh, we have a lot of viewers uh, that watch Crave TV where we get stars. So we're really yeah. looking forward to this uh, series. It is gritty right from the start. And I wanted to ask you, I, I love your character, Ray. Uh, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to play this guy so bad. I, I think, uh, oh man I, I i think i like damaged people you know <laughs> I, I i raise but that's human that's and that's something that we all can relate to and that's the genius thing about this show hightown is that everyone is damaged and everyone is trying to get better yeah. whether they're conscious of it or not everyone is trying to fill this hole and get better and i think that's something that uh you know we can all relate to in some way yeah tell me do you have did you have to do any special kind of prep for this role or was it something that was just all on the page for you and you just went with it no, I, there's always there's always weird special little things, and like every actor's different, they have their own way of going about it. Um, you know, I, I spent some time with the narcotics task force up in uh, Hyannis. Uh, became really close to two officers there, and um, you know, but there's also as much as I steal from other people, mm -hmm. you got to steal from yourself also. You know what I mean? The, it 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 becomes the best work is personal work, right. and the the hardest work is when you have to be actually be that vulnerable to bring sides of yourself out that maybe you don't like, or maybe you know other people don't like. And Ray is an abrasive guy, you know? And so sometimes you gotta go in and you gotta take that hit, but also Ray's, uh, there's another side to Ray. And, yeah. uh, you know, he's uh, he's just trying to get better, whether he yeah. knows or not. Yeah, like, like all of us, you know? <laughs> We all have our two sides, right? Of course. Uh, tell me a little bit about working with Monica. You have a very interesting relationship on this show. Um, she, you know, we, we all know her from Chicago Fire and this is a very different role for her. Tell me a little bit about your relationship and how you guys kind of hit it off because you, you work really well on screen together. You know, it's so wild because Monica and I met for the first time at the boxing gym in New York City. Wow. Okay. It randomly turns out I go to the same boxing gym she goes to. And a friend of mine was like, Hey, you should meet this actor, Monica. And, and she turns around, she goes badge. And I'm like, Monica, how you doing? I'm like, we're going to work together. And we, um, the, the, the storyline between Ray and Jackie is kind of this parallel thing. And eventually things, yeah. um, come together in a different way. I don't want to give away too much, but, uh, uh, I love yeah. Monica Raymond the best. I mean, Ron, Monica Raymond is, is such a, a, a beautiful, talented, intelligent, hardworking actor. And uh, she's just a pleasure to be around on set. And, um, you know, she, uh, she she's a fiery actor, you know? And like, it, we had this, I, I remember the first scene we did together and she turns to me and, and, and she goes, okay, no, we're gonna go like that, right? I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna play. And so it became this thing of like, I never knew what she was bringing to work every day you know yeah. she would come in i'd be like well, I'm watching her. i'm like which way is she gonna go and she'd be watching me like which way am i gonna go and so we were always kind of running around and checking each other which is really the relationship between ray and jackie yeah it's it's really nice to have that with your fellow actor um working on a on a series for a cable channel like stars it's so different than doing something for a network like you know nbc abc and it, it probably just gave you guys so much freedom not to have to worry about oops i swore or things like that did you enjoy that kind of freedom they had to ask me to stop swearing so much <laughs> they, they're like you're you're <laughs> your f word count was way too high you know what i mean you got to bring it down a little bit uh they gave us a lot of freedom you know, and that that's, and I love working that way. And, and, and Monica likes working that way. And, and Rebecca Cutter wanted us to work that way. Rachel Morrison came in and, and, and really set the tone and the look for the show, but you got to have this, this playful aspect to it. And I think, you know, I, that's what stars did so well with this and also with Jerry Bruckheimer. And he has right. a long history of doing this where he, he, he protects his, his artists. He creates a, 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 a work environment. That's very, um, it's very creative and artist friendly. And, yeah. uh, you know, so every day we went to work, man, it was, uh, we got to play around, you know, and then they'd film it. Yeah, well, you've done a wonderful job. It's always wonderful to have an opportunity to talk to you, James. I really appreciate it. And uh, best of luck with the series. You know, I'm already keeping my fingers crossed for season two. So let's make that happen, okay? <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> have, have a great day. Nice to talk to you. Take care. Bye-bye.